The 2015 Heritage Place Futurity Weekend coverage brought to you by He's a Fast Dash, the 2013 leading sire of money earners, standing at Robichaux Ranch Incorporated in Brobridge, Louisiana. Hello again, everyone. I'm Greg Thompson. As promised, our short film, A Modern Quarter Horse Jockey, a little short film I put together, promised to you here on Heritage Place Futurity Weekend coverage here on StallionEsearch.com, brought to you by He's a Fast Dash. Here's the short film. On March 1st in Bossier City, Louisiana at Louisiana Downs, a PYC painter wagon filly named Maylene PYC broke alertly from the gate in the trials for the Grade 3 Harris Futurity with 29-year-old jockey Ricky Ramirez aboard, making the trip from Oklahoma to attempt to qualify this filly for the $240,000 Futurity. And then on that same day, there was the fast closing effort of a No Secrets Here cult named A Cool Secret, who is trained by Isidro Flores and most importantly ridden by 21-year-old jockey Francisco Calderon, who made the trip from Ritama Park in San Antonio, Texas to attempt to qualify this cult. When the times were posted, Ramirez's mount Maylene PYC topped the list and A Cool Secret got in on the eighth spot in the qualifying going into the finals. Fast forward one week to March 7th, at Remington Park for the Oklahoma Futurity Trials. Calderon again makes the trip from San Antonio to steer this mount, t -Chick, a Rick Robinson trainee, down the racetrack to post the final time that would lead the list of the rest of the qualifiers going in to the $410,000 Oklahoma Futurity. On the next day, on March 8th at Remington Park, Jockey Ricky Ramirez puts three horses into the top 10 of the $268,000 Oklahoma Derby list of qualifiers. Ramirez, seen here aboard Johnny Trotter owned Visual Magic, trained by Trey Wood, would qualify seventh from this effort to make it into the finals. The issue arose that the Harris Futurity in Bossier City, Louisiana was on the same day as the Oklahoma Futurity and Derby in Oklahoma City. 390 miles separates the two racetracks and driving from Louisiana Downs after the Futurity to make it in time for the Oklahoma Derby and Futurity was virtually impossible. Commercial airline travel was not conducive due to the departure times available from Shreveport to Oklahoma City. Thus, the need for private air travel came into play, and thus the journey begins. Jockey Ricky Ramirez, Ricky Ramirez's agent Ryan Valerio, Jockey Francisco Calderon, and myself Greg Thompson of StallionEsearch.com went to Oklahoma City Airport to board a Learjet bound for Shreveport, Louisiana. Now I've been told multiple times that you never ride with a jockey in a car behind the wheel when they are running late. With the tardiness of the plane's arrival in Oklahoma and the imminent rainy wet weather we knew was in store for our arrival in Shreveport, I could never have foreseen how true that advice truly was. Approximately 30 minutes prior to landing, we could see that the weather, which was clear and sunny in Oklahoma, was now wet and rainy as forecasted the closer we got to Shreveport. The arrival time in Shreveport was dangerously close to the cutoff time that the stewards required a jockey to show up in order to weigh in and prepare for the jockey's obligations aboard his scheduled mounts. We landed safely in Shreveport, and luckily for us there was a car waiting for our usage as soon as we arrived and we all filed out of the plane. Remember that mention earlier about how I was told before that I never should get in a car with a jockey behind the wheel who was running late? Hey, what do you think about Ricky's driving, Francisco? Horrible. <laughs> We made the turnoff of I-20 at the Louisiana Downs exit and we could see the racetrack and we could see we were going to make it in time due to Ricky Ramirez's NASCAR-like driving to get us there. Ten two-year-olds were set to take the muddy Bossier City racecourse by storm in an attempt to capture the lion's share of the winner's check of 108000 The rain just would not let up. 
As the field was sent on their way, both Calderon's mount, a cool secret, and Maylene PYC with Ramirez aboard got away in good order. Calderon was hampered by a horse on his outside that was lugging in. As Ramirez's mount surged to the lead to capture victory for trainer Salvador Flores in the Grade 3 Harris Futurity, the Winter Circle presentation was done in a downpour. And I was thinking at the time that we're going to have to take off in this weather in the Learjet to get out of this rain. Our original scheduled flight was canceled due to this very type of weather and the reluctance of the original pilot to fly in this wet weather. Take me from the half track to the wire. Uh, you know, the Philly broke good. She kind of broke in. She did it to me in the trials and I had to kind of check her a little bit. But uh, as soon as I asked her, you know, she responded real good and, you know, she just went on. She's a nice Philly and, you know, I just kind of wrapped up, picked up her head because the truck's kind of slick and, you know, she got it done. The silks and helmets came off, bags were quickly packed, and off down I-20 we went, bound for the airport in Shreveport, Louisiana, hoping it wasn't inclement enough to prevent our departure. Ramirez, with trophy in hand, set to get back to Oklahoma City to ride Visual Magic in the $268,000 Oklahoma Derby for his first call stable, was hoping to double up on the glory on that day with a winner's check in the Oklahoma Derby to the connections worth over $107,000, while Calderon, feeling very good about his chances in the Oklahoma Futurity aboard T. Chick, could not wait to get aboard the Rick Robinson train jumping chick gelding. The winner's check for the futurity carried with it a $164,000 payday. The pilots taxied and off we flew, bound for Oklahoma City, leaving the wet, soggy, Bossier City weather behind us and arriving to clearer skies in Oklahoma City. We arrived in time and safely at Remington Park in Oklahoma City. The running of the Oklahoma Derby was the 10th race on the card. Ramirez, feeling very keen aboard Treywood trainee Visual Magic, went postward in the Oklahoma Derby. The 11th race was the Oklahoma Futurity. Calderon already had victory possibly snatched from him due to a horse lugging in on him in the stretch in the Harris. Shirley was hoping for a much better trip aboard the post-time favorite and fastest qualifier, t -Chick. Chick gets to the wire in front in the Oklahoma Futurity, giving Calderon a $410,000 Futurity win on the same day he just missed in the $240,000 Harris Entertainment Futurity. The Rick Robinson trainee scored in a time of 15.263 seconds for the 300-yard event. Uh, 
he broke good. I mean, I was kind of nervous in the gates because last time he was nervous, but today he broke well, and you lugging in, and I mean, I just wanted to correct him. He was going, and he ran his race and did a pretty good job. He's a fast dash. The number one leading sire of money earners for 2013. The sire of 22 black type graded stakes winners from only 10 crops to race. His runners have an average earnings of nearly $37,000. His offspring have earned a jaw dropping $20 million from only 10 crops to race. His dam, first prize dash is a full sister to the all time leading sire first down dash. The dynasty is well underway in Louisiana. He's a fast dash, standing at Robichaux Ranch Incorporated in Brobridge, Louisiana.